to get a better idea about the behavior of this function, j0, let us plot it using some plotting software, uh, specifically SageMath. So here is SageMath. I'm running it from the terminal. And uh, let us start by plotting the j0 Bessel function between, say, 0 and 10. So here is the command for Sage, which tells it to plot the zeroth Bessel function. There are Bessel functions for all uh, non-negative integers. And it's supposed to plot it between 0 and 10. And so this is the output of this command. Um, this does not quite reveal the interesting properties of this function. So let us go ahead and plot another one for uh, the range 0 to 100. From this graph, uh, what we can see is that j0 is a little bit like sine or cosine, that it oscillates all along uh, the x-axis. Uh, now the the difference is that unlike sine or cosine, the amplitude of its oscillations decay to zero, whereas the length of oscillations remains roughly the same. So these waves they have all roughly the same length, but their amplitudes decay to zero.